Hey, how's it going guys? Asad here. So before this video begins, I'll let you know every single piece of code I will write on the series can be available on my GitHub. So link is in the description. That means if you're stuck for some reason, you can figure it out with my GitHub. And if you know what WebAssembly is with how important it's for the web, you can skip this video and you can see WebAssembly in action by clicking here or you can also stay here if you want. So the things you need to know before this goes. Number one is of course HTML which is strictly required not because of this course because the app you are gonna create with the WebAssembly is for the HTML with CSS. Second thing what you need is JavaScript or Node.js also strictly required any one of them because both are nearly the same. The third which you need is familiarity with the command line interface because in this course we're gonna use command line interface or CLI heavily. So that means if you are not familiar with the CLI you can have a hard time understanding it. So it is also strictly required. Fourth is C. Required for this course not for WebAssembly as a whole Alternative for C can be C++, Rust, or Go. Knowing any one of those can be okay for this course. But you need complete knowledge of that specific language you know. And the other thing what you need is express a node framework and we're gonna use NPM a lot. So these are not strictly required. These are totally fine if you don't know. So if you know it would be better but who cares you know if you don't know any one of those and wanting to learn by the time you're watching this i probably have a video series on those just go to my playlist on my channel now what are we gonna learn in this course webassembly obviously with mscripten and we will make a canvas with webassembly as for the real world use case so enough of the intro, let's begin what WebAssembly is. WebAssembly or WASM, you can see me both using interchangeably, both means the same, is a standard that defines binary format and conspendictive assembly-like text format. That's why it's called WebAssembly for executables by using web page. And the W3C worldwide constant maintains this standard with contribution from Mozilla, Microsoft, Google and Apple. That means it's a big thing. So why we need WebAssembly? You know there is a problem with JavaScript. Yeah because of the dynamic nature of course but there are some other problems. The most of the work JavaScript is doing is not what JavaScript is intended to made for. You know JavaScript is the backbone of internet. Yeah indeed JavaScript is made for the internet. Not the internet what we know today but instead it's for 22 years ago. And now the potential of JavaScript is on its limit. And no one want anything important as internet to be limited by something silly as this reason. Which are speed, dynamic nature of the JavaScript and a lot more. So how we can solve this? By changing the language of browser or internet? That sounds awesome solution. But no, the problem with this approach will be the entire world wide web will become useless until the libraries will rewritten which probably stop the development of internet for years. And also no one will agree. So that's where WebAssembly comes in. The purpose of WASM is enable the JavaScript engine of web browser to execute page scripts nearly as first as native machine code. Yeah, native machine code. But the, this is not full replacement of JavaScript, rather WASM is only intent for performance critical portion of page scripts. WebAssembly code runs in the same sandbox as regular script code, but only regular script have the direct access to the DOM tray. The next question, what are the places that already use WebAssembly? Well, the irony is, we are using WebAssembly without even knowing it we are using. There are some important libraries such as Babel, ESLint, if you ever did web development, you probably use those. The Unity engine is also created with the 
WebAssembly, so all the websites which use Unity such as codespark.com and there are some famous software such as AutoCAD on browser which use bioparting, use WebAssembly and many more. Next question, how does it work? Like any other compiled languages such as C and C++, first we need to type the code in an executable file which is in C it's .c file or C++ it's cpp and in the, here in WebAssembly it's .wst and .wat you can use both of them. And now after writing it we need a LLVM compiler to compile to .wasm file which is a binary format which is like the any other compiled language do and then we will attach that file to the js and call the code that's it but keep in mind that's not how we are gonna use that because working with .wat file is very hard due to being a low level language instead we gonna write code in c or c++ or rust or go and transpile to .wat file and then compile to .wasm file and other steps are the same. Don't worry if it sounds complicated. It would make more sense when we do stuff. Next question. Is WebAssembly gonna replace JavaScript? Short answer, not anytime soon. Long answer, it's complicated. And here is my answer. WebAssembly need to become mature enough to use everywhere and also become more easier to use than of JavaScript with also good third party libraries and developer support. Or in other words, until JavaScript will become pretty useless, it's not gonna happening, which is nearly takes decade to occur. So if you are learning JavaScript, don't worry about that. Besides, Node is gonna stay. On to the next and the last question how we work with the WebAssembly. Beforehand, I'm warning you that it might sound complicated, but it's super simple. First, we are gonna make environment for WebAssembly development by making a static server using express.js. On the first half of the course, we are gonna use WasmFiddle, an online C to WebAssembly compiler for keeping things simple. When you got a hang of it, I'm gonna use mscripton more about mscripton in a, another video in the future which is for compiling c to WebAssembly, and that's it that's how we gonna use that and as i told earlier we gonna attach that file to javascript that's all hope you guys enjoy in the next video i will set up environment for WebAssembly, and please subscribe see you guys in the next one